Hey everyone, Faux Show Shot here. Just want to give a quick disclaimer before this video starts. Um, the game works fine, but recording wise, it's weird. It has two pop ups um, that don't really work together while recording. It's very hard. I would have to play with my entire screen sharing, which I don't like to enjoy doing that. Um, so it might seem a bit choppy, uh, and I might complain about it here and there, but I just want to throw a disclaimer in there that, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a weird video to edit. So, um, just sorry if it makes this video kind of harder to watch, but, um, yeah, hopefully you watch it and enjoy it. Maybe. I don't know. Thanks. All right, welcome back everyone. My name's Foe Showshot. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and share. It'll really help the channel out. I should really change that. It's kind of getting old saying that. Um, we're up to 105 subscribers. Subscribers. So thank you for anyone who's subscribed or for anyone who watches my videos. It means a lot. And today we're going to be checking out Nothing to Remember, right? That's what it's called. Now this is weird. This game. This game's weird. It's like a text-based game where you're trying to figure out what's going on between characters it's like detective psychological horror that type of stuff um, also it's very hard to capture because for some reason there are two windows popped up one that has nothing on it and one that has the game on it and the one that has the game on it doesn't register as a game to capture on OD on o obs so i had to uh just do an entire screen capture so with that we're going to jump on into it a game by Guts United. All right, creepy guy above a baby. Jeremy Knight, medicine doctor, 43 years old. Uh, it's 3 a.m. Must be torture not being able to sleep. You'd give anything for just a few minutes. Admit it, Jeremy. You're weak. Please leave me alone. What do you want from me? What do you want, man? the fuck is that? You still dream about her, don't you? Or maybe you dream of something else. Something so unbearable. Something you're afraid even to think about. I hate you. I need my pills. <laughs> I'm a doctor. Um, why would he tell any of these? You think that'll help? Leave me alone, you hear me? Just tell the truth. I'll let you go. Can I actually click on these? I can. Oh god. Oh god. That's so annoying the way this game is captured. All right, so what, yeah, sorry if you saw that. Does this open up a video? God, this is so annoying. How am I supposed to capture this, honestly? I mean, I'm sure there's a way. But because the game wants you to have this, like, 
pop out thing going. Like they should have put this in the in like a game thing, not have. Because every time you click on these, it opens up that weird null, not part of a game thing. I don't know. Whatever. We just won't zoom in on shit. I don't remember anything. You think I'm just going to believe that? You're going to die here. Oh, motherfucker. Your phone ring this morning. Who was it? Um, insurance company. Okay, so just going to say this, guys. It runs fine on a computer. Like, it looks fine. But in OBS, because of the way of capturing, it's just going to be weird looking. When it transitions, I'm guessing. I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, okay, your phone rang this morning. Who was it? There's some kind of issue. Insurance company. I don't know. I heard someone was threatening you. I'll deal with it, don't worry. Then why do you ask? Emotional. Was it about that case you were working on? I don't want to talk about it, man. Who are you, Richard? Richard, my boyfriend, who I've been with for three years. Oh, okay. Sarah, you know that's dangerous, but trying to stop you is like trying to force a train from its tracks. Yeah, dude. I mean, obviously, she's a police officer. This guy just needs to back off, man. Close. What would you do in my situation? Everything will be okay. Dude, just chill. It's her job to investigate. Why is this guy... Uh, I mean... She's the police officer. Is this guy a police officer too? But I can't protect you from yourself. I'll deal with it soon. Promise. What's that? Instagram. That's so fucking annoying. It opened an actual fucking Instagram. Ugh. The dude's a math enthusiast. Okay. Well, I didn't see anything on his Instagram, so... Well, hold on. Let me see if there was actually anything important. What was this? No. The, the newest post is a fucking Wilson ball. Okay, so I really like the idea of this game, right? Damn, it's annoying to record, though. All right, Mom's talking to me now. Um, Sarah, what's going on? What are you talking about? Mom, I'm at work now. Mom. Were you fired? I wasn't fired. I was transferred to another precinct. Federal agents came to our house today. They were asking questions about you for two hours. What did you tell them? He seems like um, phone call type conversations, not text conversations. What did you tell them? What is there for me to tell? You never tell me anything. Did they take my old notebook? No. My hands are still shaking. Mom, calm down and don't worry about it. Like, oh my god. Talk to your father. He's a lawyer. He can help you. Uh, I don't think he'll be able to help. He's the last person I want to turn to for help. Why? What happened? What's the story? Whatever. I don't know. Okay, she's offline. 
Captain Clark. Captain Clark's a fisherman. Hi. I know that you're mad at me. But transferring you to another precinct was the only solution. You were just covering your ass. I understand why you did it. I understand why you did it. I don't, but, you know, maybe she does. I'm making her rational. They suspect that you're responsible for hacking our precinct's database. I didn't do it. Someone used my access code. Rational. Then you'll have to prove that to the feds. I gave him a southern accent. He seems like a southern accent guy. Look at that mustache. The fish. Uh, then you'll have to prove that to the feds. Are you happy telling me that I can't count on you anymore? Wait, jeez, what? Sorry. Are you telling me that I can't count on your help anymore? So you don't believe me either. I already helped you by organizing your transfer to another precinct instead of suspending you. That was such a sacrifice. Well, thanks for that. The feds took your computer. You've got to understand that you're not just risking your career here. You're risking your freedom. What would I do without your support? You think I don't know that? Emotional. Was that emotional? I guess, yeah. It was, it was very sarcastic. Am I going to get another one? Bill Davies. What are you, Bill Davies? Police officer and my new colleague. Hi. I know why they transferred you to our department. Word travels lightning fast here, I see. We'll have to work together. And I think uh, we can help each other out. I'll manage on my own. Was it? How is that emotional? I want a promotion. You want to find out who set you up? Can we at least talk about it? Okay. Here's a message I got from my friend, Susan Parker. Who's Susan Parker? Worked at ANBR, was in a car crash under very strange circumstance. I'm sure that she was killed. No, oh, this is gonna pop up weird, isn't it? I wonder if I could have a different scene Uh, Suzanne, Sarah, if you're reading this, I'm already dead, and this message was sent automatically. You'll get an email. You're the only one I can trust. God, this game's, oh, this video is going to take so fucking long to edit. On the same day she got in a car crash. Nobody said anything about it. What did you do? I started investigating the circumstances of her death myself. Because the official story is it was an accident. Did he find anything? I managed to find some leads, but two weeks later I was accused of breaking into the precincts database. So here I am. Why are you so sure that this accusation has something to do with your investigation? Threatening calls, the hacking accusation, my transfer. I stopped believing in coincidence a long time ago. I think it'd be coincidences. I can help you. 
What's in it for you? I think he already said promotion. He wants a promotion. You're a cybersecurity expert, right? Yes, that's right. I need your help on one particular unofficial investigation. Did you hear about the murder of Michelle Knight? I don't need to zoom in, we've seen it. Here is the photo from the crime scene. Sure, it was a big case. At least wrapped her head all up. Her father, Jeremy Knight, is a famous doctor. But the case is closed. The, ser or the killer committed suicide. That's why I'm talking about an unofficial investigation. Now look at what someone sent to my work number. I tried calling that number. Is it disconnected? There's just a pre-recorded message. Here, listen. Promise you'll come. He's offline. Now, does he want me to fucking click on these things? I already did. That does sound strange. Maybe it's just a joke, but what if it's actually Michelle Knight's killer? Daughter of Jeremy Knight, first victim of the serial killer. Uh, maybe it's a joke, but what if it's actually Michelle Knight's killer? I don't want to get into this. How can I help with that? I want to find the phone's location. In return, I'll help you with your investigation. Alright, let's give it a shot. How are we going to find the phone's location? God damn it, the feds are calling me. She went a little southern right there. Picked it up from her captain. We'll talk tomorrow. They probably just read everything you were just talking about, so... And one more thing. Jeremy Knight, Michelle's father. I haven't been able to contact him for a few days now. Oh shit, scene change. God, that was so fucking annoying. What was the point? What is the point? Everything goes numb after the pills. Even your consciousness. But only after, only for a few hours. How long will you be able to endure? What did you give me? Oh, sorry, burped. Who is it? Okay, we get the idea. You're a psycho. Let me out, please. Admit it. You killed her. So they're thinking he killed his daughter? You're lying. Let me go. Let you go. This is just the beginning. Go to hell. Go to hell. You'll be begging me to kill you. Well, that's ominous. 
All right, Zerkar, police officer, 28 years old. I'm at work. I left a flash drive on your table where anyone could pick it up. Who's in our office? Who in our office has a level two clearance? Oliver. Good, stick this flash drive into his computer for five seconds. But he's at his desk right now. I just now got access to the security cameras. I just now got access to security cameras. How'd you do that? I'll tell you later. I see him. What are we going to do? Do you have a cell phone number? Yes. I'll send him a message that Lieutenant wants to see him. And I'll warn you as soon as he leaves the office. His number is, these aren't real numbers, man. Is there a place with only six numbers? Oliver, this is Sarah Carter. I think that the lieutenant wants to see you. Okay, thanks. Am I supposed to, like, look at this? Is he going to get up? All right, it's pretty obvious. We can see him. Oh, my God. All right, he fucking left. One second. Is a message I got from my friend Susan Parker. On the same day she got into a car crash. Nobody said anything about it. I managed to get some leads, but two weeks later I was accused of breaking into the precinct's database. Got all the information on Michelle Knight's murder. Is any there anything interesting? Who is working on the case? Give me a moment. They found traces of chloroform in her system. The killer must have knocked her out first and then strangled her, possibly with a rope. Here's some photos from the crime scene. <laughs> Do you have any thoughts about why they put bandages over her face? What about the dice on the table? I have no idea. Wait, let me get this straight. They rolled a six and a three. What could that mean? How could the detectives miss all the stuff that was lying on the table? Uh, the C, the C, Iris, Murdoch. They rolled a six and a three. What could that mean? There's nothing about it in the report. It looks like it was staged. Uh, 
This guy, Thomas May, who entered the building with her. Thomas May, student in the medical college, friend of Michelle Knight. The official version is that he killed her and committed suicide afterwards. Killed her. Then went to the roof and committed suicide. Why was he lying on his back? What's wrong with that? Damn, someone is calling. I'll be back in five minutes. I'll get to work on finding out where the phone is then. Sometime later. Fucking editing is going to suck on this. Why could they put it in just a regular screen? Laura. Laura, a girl who works at ANBR. Good afternoon, Sarah. My name is Laura Jenkins. Do you remember me? Of course, you're a friend of Susan Parker. Susan was her friend, wasn't she? Do you have some information about her death? I know that it wasn't just a car crash. Do you have any information about that? I have information, and I know that Susan trusted you. But I'm not sure whose side you're on. What do you mean? If she trusted me, then, she sh then you should trust me too. Unless I murdered her. Would you be willing to continue this investigation if you knew that your father had something to do with it? My father? That's not an answer. Well, my answer is yes. I obviously don't like my father. I think we already covered that. I can meet on Thursday. If it's this important, you should meet right away. Never waste time. We'll decide on the place and time later. Really? You're going to get murdered. When people do this, where they're like, we can meet, like, they're just, yeah. She's going to get murdered before you can meet her. Did you call me? I am father. Do you remember Susan Parker? I'm not sure that I do. That's strange. She used to work at ANBR. Is that not the same company you work as a lawyer for? That's a weird way to phrase that. Uh, and she's visited our house. Oh, yes, right. Isn't that the same girl that got into a car crash? She was murdered. I like to put... I'm going to give him like an almost British accent, a very terrible one. Murdered? Do you have any evidence to support that claim? Regs don't usually go out on new cars. How weird that you ask for evidence right away. Regs don't usually go out on cars, on new cars. It still happens, though. I need your help. Emotional, damn it. We'll discuss it later. Who's popping up next? Is it Bill? So, what's wrong with the killer lying on his back? When someone jumps from a roof, they usually end up on their stomach. Unless he's doing some sick flips. It means someone pushed him. So, you're single, aren't you? What does that have to do with anything? How's that emotional? The workday's over, but you're still in the office. I'm just curious to know what's wrong with you. You're crossing the line here. So being single means there's something wrong with me? Why am I so angry? Uh, I shouldn't have done that emotional. What are you running from? Who asks these questions like this? Did you read too many psychology books? 
Someone is calling again. What bad timing. Text me if there's any news. I have news about Seuss's and Parker's death. I'm busy. I'm not going to discuss this again. It was an accident. How many times do I have to repeat it? I didn't expect you to react like this. What's going on? Why are you so mad at me? I'm going to try to make her as much of a robot as possible for some reason. I'm just tired. If you don't find out who's behind all this, I could end up in jail. And you don't even want to hear me out? You have five minutes. Laura, a friend and colleague of Susan, contacted me. And she's willing to tell me what happened. What? That's not what she said. She just has information on... Why are you so sure that she'll tell you the truth? Why would she lie? For her own benefit, just like anyone else. You've always helped me in the past, Mr. Mustache. I need you more than ever now. Come on, Captain Clark. Find at least a shred of evidence and I'll help you. Goodbye, Sarah. Skip time. Everything's breaking. Bill Davies again. Knew it. I've gathered all the information. What took you so long? I'm listening. Speaking of Thomas May, okay, that kid. On the night of the murder, he was seen entering Michelle Knight's house along with her. They even got it on camera. What's his background? Anything about his family? They were a couple? Nothing special. He has a brother. Don't you think it's strange for a guy from a normal family? Okay. Just send one text. You don't need to split up your text like this. To kill a girl he knows in such a way and then jump from a roof afterwards? Well, such things happen, although rare. Let's talk about my case now. Your case is boring. Damn, the lieutenant is calling me. I'll tell you everything tomorrow. Oh, Oliver. I like Oliver's pictures. Probably like, dude, I... You made a fool of me. All right, we're on Jeremy Knight, doctor, 43 years old. Feeling better, I see. It always feels like the pain precedes the morning light. I'm thirsty. But you, but do you, but do you deserve any sympathy? Look at her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Help me. Everything in time. All right, guys, this was uh, the first part of Nothing to Remember. Pretty cool game. Uh, I, it's still weird with the pop-out. Um, like, I feel like they could have done it on this screen. They didn't need to do that. But it, it's it's cool when you're playing it. It's just kind of annoying when you're trying to record it. Overall, like, it's not a flaw if you're just playing the game for yourself. Um, but, yeah, I like it. I'm going to keep continuing this. But uh, for now, this is where I'm going to leave it. So if you want to play this for yourself, the link will be in the description below. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and share. And, you know, have a wonderful day like usual. Goodbye.